can I find a cougar? Mm, actually, I don't know. Oh, wait, I did... Well, a cougar found me and I died, so I feel like it's uh, over where your your camp is after you get to like chapter three. Boy, twice plant if you're in danger. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking my plants, so you can't see them anyways. They're definitely not blinking though. I I I promise you, they're in great hands here. Um. What's I gonna do? I feel like I should get the moonshine before I go check out this second stranger person. Okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Ray, do you promise not to scream if you see a cougar? Okay, I probably would not scream if I just saw it. However, if it stalks me, and then jumps on me without me having any idea that it was there and rips my neck in half, I pretty much can't promise you that. <laughs> now that you've had some time to process it, how do you feel about the Battle of the Braithwaite? I know this is the uh, main story, Danny. Um, okay. I don't know if this is unpopular opinion or not, but I really wish that there was an option in game to not murder everybody at the manor. Like if there was some sort of way, like we get into a discussion, like maybe we take one of them hostage or something, and then we can still get to the same point where they're like, oh, you know, we we dumped him off on, like, whatever guy in Saint-Denis, like. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that the camp? Yes, that one real. Um, Yeah, I just, like, I don't really get why it had to be, like, an all. Actually, it wasn't even an all or nothing. You literally had to murder everyone there to, to progress in the storyline. Yeah, exactly. It's the only option, and I wish that wasn't the case. Um, but, but, if, let's say, you know, when you do the quest for the Braith Raids and then you do the, the quest for the Greys, like, if they did something where, like, the order that you did them in or... I, maybe they could have done something a little bit more so you didn't have to murder everyone. Boom. They stole a boy. That is not how you do things. That was pretty messed up. That was pretty messed up. I totally agree. The real samurai Hi, Thank you so much for the follow. The real popular opinion was the friend that <laughs> no one liked along the way. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> hey, but... That friend always has, like, there's always something about that friend. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hi. Oh. Why are you so skinny, boy? Maybe I can give him food? Found around Amadeo and Saint Denis, domestic mugs can make good household pets. That's a good boy. Or girl. Yeah, you're a girl. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Hopefully, you can find some food, though. Apparently, I can't give you any. Let's go, girl. Okay. To moonshine. Excuse me, ma'am. Please, I need help here. Oh, what's going on? The saloon is absolutely overrun with rats. Worse than last time. Much, much worse. I can't get near the damn things. Scurrying around. But I need them gone. I'll pay double from the last time, huh? You got yourself a deal. Yeah. Jesus, fella. Won't say no to the money, though. Oh, thank God. 
Head in there, but please, please, try not to destroy the place. I didn't even destroy the place last time, so... Okay, let's get this. D-Love, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> Polywoggy, do not remind me. I spent an entire night screaming Gavin's name. For what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is somebody like letting these rats in here? Just heard a maniacal laugh. UK Days, thank you so much for the follow. All right, let's chill out, autosave. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, they're so fast. Or maybe that guy was maniacally laughing? Oh, sorry you got stuck on your friend's body there. Things are looking pretty okay. Okay, one more. Is this one? Can you get a rap pelt? <laughs> Bye, real samurai. Easy peasy. Will you change the bear head for a hat? Well, shit. It's kind of character hey, breaking. Mister, you're in this, Why would it be character sure. breaking? You, you can it. be a hunter, so. All right, I'll take 25 bucks. We're helpful. Plus. Plus, good day, sir. Um, I wonder if I should have like cleared the bodies out. Um, plus, everyone recognizes us with our bat bear hat on now. Rats hollow. <laughs> That's where all rats go. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry, I just, the, I was gonna dodge the trolley and then it dipped and then I was gonna run into the side of it. Very complex controls. <laughs> little, little horse drifting. It was either us or the trolley, so probably easier for us to dodge. It's Disney World up in this bar. Yeah, for those rats. Till it wasn't. Until it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. Let's ride. I always hate going through this, like, fog forest thing. It just creeps me out, and I always feel like something really bad's gonna happen. Cece's life flashed before her eyes. Um, no, I, it was under control the whole time. Yes, like a panther, exactly. Or a sneaky crocodile. 
or I don't know. The Lemoyne boys. Excuse me. Yeah, we are a long way from roads. is apparently everybody has forgotten all about the shootout that went down here. You should visit the swamp at night. All sorts of interesting... Oh, I do not plan on going to the swamp. I don't even want to go to the swamp in the day on a horse with all of my... Uh, Wait, what's going on here? Howdy, partner. Hi there. Uh, great. Hello, mister. Got any idea what time it is? I'm sure I have no idea. He's sure he has no idea. All right, thank you. How's your room? Creepy swamp. Oh, you do, that's a... Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Oh, yes. Uh... Moonshine. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Inspect the note from your satchel. I will do that. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of St. Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. Thank you, sir. Hey, everybody. Howdy, fellas. Hello there. Well, hello there. Everything okay? Hello. Hello. All right. Well, good luck to you. So long. Imagine the luxury of not knowing the time and being okay with it. Uh, the good old days where you just woke up, got on your horse, rode to a neighboring town. Is this guy dead? Hello? Hey, sir. Oh, you should see yourself. <laughs> you look like you're having fun. Oh, he's just drunk. Do do do. Okay then, girl. <laughs> a quarter oh, ounce is all drink takes when the proof is high. I know this guy. I feel like his calculation must be off, or he carried an extra zero, needing a hundred gallons of moonshine. Oh man, hold on, my health. Um. Slightly restores. Do I need to do my dead eye though? Salted venison? Sure, I just got here, but I know you killed some poor sod. What'd you do? I promise nobody has been hurt yet. You could see that mansion burn from here. I swear that bitch of screams caught on the wind. Let like a baby that night. Damn, well, howdy now. Oh. Yeah, we we have no we have no idea about any of of that. Nope. Oh. But there's another person here. Do do the question mark people go away? For example, there was previously a question mark person in Saint Denis that I was like, oh, I'll go talk to them after I do the moonshine mission. But now I no longer see their little question mark thingy, but I see one here. Okay, that is bad. I need to start doing them when I see them. 100 gallons, those are rookie numbers in this bracket. We are sure it doesn't belong to the Canadian frontier. It also depends on the time of day. Okay, well, while I'm here, we're just gonna do this real quick. Maybe it's all... 
because I'm too far away from it now. I don't know if that's a thing, but when I was in St. Denis, I saw... there hey partner hello oh are you not the person i need to talk to is that someone i need to talk to <gasps> sir are you okay well, look at you you be careful there partner okay you're also not it how about this guy? Oh. Oh. You're leaving me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Oh, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean oh, off you. Come on. And I'll okay. tell you, you okay. little liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut oh. up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut right. up! Take down the wanted posters around roads. Stop bounty hunters searching for Mr. Black and Mr. White. Okay. I think I only saw the one in the train station, right? Okay. Landed on our feet. That's good news. Okay. We'll go this way. Okay, maybe there isn't. Well, how about you, sir? I can take you just about anywhere. Oh, I'm all, all set, thank you. Oh, puppy! I'm looking for wanted posters. Do you know where any of those would be? Hey, boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Yeah, okay. I like to play dress up, too. Just never outside. <laughs> one, take down posters. Two, take the dudes in for bounty. If we could get some money out of them, too. Okay. I really... I thought there was a poster in here, but now I'm not seeing the little, like, icon for it. Do, do, do. Okay, don't want to bust in. Aha, I think you just gotta get close enough to it. Hello. Hi there. Okay, inspect. <laughs> I know, I just, let me, I'm not hurting anybody, I'm just trying to wear my bear hat. Okay, let's put this away. One of five? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna take forever. Pardon me. Yeah, pardon me. Hey, you want a ride? I can take you wherever you need to go. No, thank you. Okay, if we just go into every store. Mister? Okay, nothing in the bank. What's this? The Undertaker. Oh, wait. Okay. 
Uh, hi there. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. I'm tired of talking. How about we get back to it? Look okay, out, how about I just, uh... Sir, if you really just wouldn't mind here for a moment. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come back. Give you a moment to make the right decision, you know? I got <laughs> Shoot him! Your hands now, you get me? Oh, right. I got... What do you want? I think I'm all set for now. Just wanted to see if there was a wanted poster. No matter. It could have happened to you. You could have called on to fight to save our way alive. Hmm. Got a bounty poster in here, sir? Maybe it won't show me where the next one is till I. <laughs> Maybe if I just shoot towards his feet. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we make trouble in here anymore, right? Now that we can't be deputy. Oh. Okay, maybe we'll give him one more try. Right? Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. Curl him up. Haha, <laughs> made you move. This what okay. You oh! This'll set you straight. You ain't the law, you know. Yeah, well, I gave you an opportunity. I juked you. I was minding my business. Yeah, but you weren't minding my business, so. Come on, man. What the blazes? <laughs> No! Hell? What for picking him up? Why? Okay, we gotta run. This definitely don't concern me. Well, now we're in this together, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um He's not kidnapped, you guys. Oh, I see where the witness is. Okay. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. All right, let's just defuse the situation. Defuse. Let's just talk this through. Last chance! Hands up! I, I don't have don't the option have to, to drop this bit. guy. This is okay. where you die! No! no! You okay, I know you're trying to stop me, Companion Q, but... Okay. $50! I was just trying to get the poster. How did this happen? Oh, where'd my horse go? Okay, okay. Yep, keep running. Okay, please come back. Ow! Oh God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. You wouldn't shoot your own horse, would you? Oh, 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 shoot. Okay, you shot your own horse. You guys are bad people. Okay, they're not gonna see me in here. All right, I think they see me in here. Okay, how do I defuse this situation? Listen. 
Oh, they actually can't see me in here. Ow. Look, I'm not even shooting at you anymore. Ow. Just keep dodging. All of this because I wanted to do... Oh, I'm surrounded. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is unreal. This is unreal. Health core? Should I eat bread? This is what happened. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, if I can just get to the barn. If I can just get to the barn. Just put enough distance between us. Yes. Okay. Ooh, the water? Oh, I don't think so. Okay, actually, I'm immediately gonna drown, apparently. Please swim! Sticky keys, no! Please, 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 please. Can I dive? Okay, all right. All of this because I politely asked a guy to move so I could grab a poster? I'm sorry. This seems a little... I think everybody just spun way out of control. I, I tried to do it the nice way. Okay. Listen, if everyone didn't just misunderstand, <laughs> that was... Okay, can I at least grab the poster now? Jeez Louise, this was all I was trying to do the whole time. Okay. If, if any of these people just knew the real me, <laughs> this is one of the most fun and frustrating parts of the story. All right, come this way. Maybe they're all outside. Ooh, the sheriff's office is probably a good spot for a poster, right? Is that on the outside? Okay. We had more than that is bloodshed last time you was in these parts. More than enough for two lifetimes. Just give me an Okay, sir. Sorry <laughs> uh Tem I'm so sorry. Temur Temuraku? John, my name is Jeff. Alpha Homer and Canuck, thank you guys all so much for the follows and Canuck, thank you so much for the bits. I just like that that was not even my own misunderstanding like i was very very aware of what was happening and everybody else in the town just decided probably looking for something to do on their friday night and they're like hey let's beat up and shoot at the guy in the bear hat a wanted poster? No, that says turn leap. Okay. There's one poster left. Where do we think it is? Mr. Black, Mr. White. Interesting. Oh. Mr. Mm -hmm. I need Excuse that me. Poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your... 
Okay. I did, again, ask nicely. Oh. Oh, no, you don't. Sir, I really... I, this is out of salt. Hold on, you sir. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. I just need a loot. Listen. I need the poster. Okay. Okay, girl. All right, let's get out of here. It can't be a kidnapping if I didn't bring him anywhere. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I better not see that wanted come back. They're just, why is nobody obliging? I don't get it. <laughs> Here we go again. I am being very polite. I'm asking nicely. Yeah. I'm giving everybody at least two opportunities to do the right thing. This is good. Now we can go back to our friends. And where were they? They're like over here somewhere, I think, right? $90 for what? For hog tying somebody? Officer, there's a bear man going around tying people up. But that's all the bear man is doing. I, I'm not... I'm not grabbing anybody. Like, nobody is actually being harmed. Oh my gosh. It's this whole area? Okay. And now I need to find... Yep. I need to get to the highest point, I think. And then I'll be able to see. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is, I think this is the ultimate, like, good guy move. Or wait, that's not theirs, is it? Slow. It's like really far away. They said that they were gonna be like a campfire in the woods though. But where? It seems really far. Okay, let's pay off my bounty while I'm here. I also need some supplies. I literally just traded those guys having a bounty on them to just doing it myself. Hold on, I'll be right there. Okay. Well, hello again. <laughs> I got another one. In Paris these days? You interested? Uh, just, I will in one second. I just need to pay this off real quick. Okay. And apparently... When you're ready. Coach robbery tip. Okay, hold on. I needed to get one thing out of the way at the time. at a time. Really I'm pretty sure randomly tying people this. up is frowned upon in society. Okay, but if you just tie them, all I'm trying to say is like in a court of law, if somebody is trying to get you on I kidnapping, but all you call. did was tie a person up exactly where they were and not move them at all, like case closed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Consent so, um, first. I suppose think, I did also? not get consent on... The whole tying up thing, but that does not equal kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, you would so, definitely uh, walk if that was the case. It's <sighs> Arthur. Fine. How's things, Alden? Good. All right. This is a little different. <laughs> the How many strangers have you tied content. up IRL? You'll pay you well for it. It's a None. fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay. But the money best be right. Oh, it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Okay. 
Read. Head north up the road past Face Rock. Wagon full of antiques coming from the northeast headed for a Byron Road. Should be well, should be a couple of guards. Delivered to Seamus at Emerald Ranch. Careful not to damage the wagon or the cargo. Okay. That will be next. I need to tell these guys that they're no longer wanted. Farewell. Farewell. Oh, man. Hold on. I gotta do... Course... I need a stamina. Slightly increases stamina. Okay. So, how are you? Wait, his contact is the same pleb? Yeah, but you need an in. That's it. There was a long pause before saying none. I, I just had to do a quick little... Quick little check, but uh, I'm I'm confident in the nun. No, thank you. I need to go pick up some supplies, and then I gotta go find some guys that are in the woods. Hey, 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 hey! You get your hands off her. You brought hell down on yourself. Oh, I don't think so. Nobody hits. Oh! You brought a knife to a fist fight? That's for knocking the hat off my head. And for being a woman beater. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. We just got out of not being in trouble anymore. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay, now my... I hate these cores. Why do they go down so fast? Oh, my health is red again? Okay. Wait, does this do all of them? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like how the woman part... Okay, I didn't... Not, not in any particular order, but... Why is my health not going up? This? Am I like bleeding out? You guys are both wrong. <laughs> the haircut with the was the primary crime. I mean, luckily, I didn't get a chance. Okay. What am I trying to do? I need to go stock up on supplies. Wait, everything is closed. Okay, I need to go find those guys then. And let them know that I helped them out. Okay, apparently they're just not in the same place where I met them originally. Also, if you're asking yourself, Ray, why are you running and then having your horse run behind you? I'm not sure. Get that out there. Okay. Yeah. All I know is they said something about s like smoke or like a campsite. I'll go to this one. really far away. Easy. Closer smoke? No. <laughs> Nobody say anything. Nobody say anything. No, now it's gone. It's over here.
Is this y'all? Nope. That's just some dude. Okay, well, I'm a little lost. Yeah. Running is great for increasing your stamina levels. You're right. I should be. The love machine. Yeah, yeah, we're, this is all, all leading up to the love machine. I just, I cannot find where Mr. Black and Mr. White are. Oh, how about this one? <gasps> okay, Rip Rabbit. Mr. Black and Mr. White? They've taken me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. No bad blood. Okay, these are actual bad guys. Keep the law man secure. Okay, let's get off our horse. Mom, peek. You're gonna die in a place that hates you. Probably not. All right, if I can save the lawman, I got you. Mr. Deputy, look. Them raiders blindsided me. Tied me up for some kind of ransom, I suppose. Guess that okay. was paid, though, wasn't it? Now, come on. Over here. Okay. Look at that. And we're all good Thank in the you. eyes of the law once again. Thank you. God damn these bastards. Yeah, True. Man. Before any more of them come along. Okay. There might be some things here if you want them. Okay, it's not. Might just be a hero. Oh, maybe. we need a haircut so bad. Thanks again, citizen. You're very welcome, sir. Remember this in the future if, like, you know, you happen to see me around and, you know, maybe something bad happens. Let <laughs> the locks. Let the locks go. Okay, wait, I gotta use my. Cowboy senses. Let's loot the crate. Take biscuits. Loot the crate. Hay, which I already have, apparently. Hey, okay, what about this? Inspect. Ugh, it's so hard. There we go. Okay, I can't take anything in here, I guess. Pick up a hat. That's fine. Five minutes from now. Officer, I've never seen this man in my life. Get him! Oh my gosh, what if he was one of the, uh... Wait, where'd my hat go? Did I get shot? Okay. Oh, I think I see it. Yep, there it is. He was probably in that shootout from like five minutes ago. And now he feels bad that he just took me in and forced me to pay a $150 bounty. And then here I am saving his life per usual. Oh, wild carrot. Companion cube likes those. Okay. Now, I really wish I remembered where those guys said they were gonna be. Actually, maybe it says it in my log. Oh 
Oh my gosh. I have so many things going on right now. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Shoot. It's not this one, right? Okay, no. That's the one I was doing. <laughs> Wild carrot, good name for a horse. Somebody write that down for the next time. Thinking about finally giving the game a try. Would you suggest online or story mode? Okay, I have only been playing story mode. Um, I'm not gonna play online until I finish this, so. Arthur the tie up fairy. <laughs> Tying up people that aren't saving those that are. And then I can't even go tell them the good news that they're not even wanted anymore because I can't find them. Is it this? Yes. How, how, how do I tag this as what I want to be doing? Unless it's that MB thing. Nope, that's Mary Beth. Hmm, okay. I think we gotta go back into town and then just like ride alongside and just every campsite I see until Unless, unless they gave me this task to do to take down the posters and then they never had any intention of meeting up with me after the fact. I could very well be getting bamboozled right now. All the cool kids are. Oh, you came back. How you doing? Morning, partner. I'm really sorry I just broke your door. I keep getting control and the shift confused. I want to stop running before I hit your door, but I definitely just dropped my shoulder into it, and I feel awful, I gotta say. Now, let's have a look. <laughs> at, at that door specifically. <laughs> My heart really does feel bad. Ooh, hair tonic. Oh, no, no. I need less hair tonic. I have no idea where I get these from. I have like an infinite supply. Okay, I don't need this because I'm gonna go to... Well, that was fun. Yep, it was something. Thanks for your assistance. Okay, now this is how you stop. All right, that's still Welcome back. work. Thank you. Let's have a look in here. Don't take your guns to town, son. Keep your guns at home, Bill. Don't take. Okay, I I'm a trustworthy person. Just nobody. The stagecoast you received information on is no longer in the area you were told. Okay, I'm taking way too much time to do these things, I think. I need ammo. Okay. I maybe Let's... shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, don't need those. Okay, I'm actually good. I'm in, I'm always in way better shape than I think I am. Keeping up I'm with everything, you know? To try this. Oh, you're back. Yep. So, is this your full stock? Or... No, don't bring, don't bring it up, Arthur, please. Okay. Now that we've done this. Now 
Now, we look for the campsite. What, which one is not in the area? Okay, it looks like there is a time limit when you ask for like one of the coaches, then there's a time limit on it, except this one, which still appears to be here. Okay, let's take a minute here. Should I check that house? I feel like it would be weird, like dudes on the run inside of a house, but maybe? Yeah. But they're not where I initially found them either. I'm also just assuming that they're this way. Easy, whoa. to do yeah <sighs> okay i'm just going to give up on those guys for now there's there's no marker or anything where they're supposed to be so if it's like a I just have to come across them now. Randomly. There's a marker? Where? No, that's that Alan guy. No, there's definitely, unless, what's this? No, it's LaGrasse, Mary Beth, in town? No, isn't that just another bounty thingy? Or am I crazy? I think they said they were gonna be out in the woods somewhere. But this whole thing is just woods. That poor horse's cores. No, no, totally fine, totally fine. They should have been a little more specific. Isn't that the poster you have to get? No, I, I have all five posters. Um, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think I have all five posters. That's just like the new bounty thing. That popped up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They should be very near. Uh, I guess I did only look on the one side of the tracks. Like, I don't know what that noise was, but yeah. um, I suppose I could have looked on the other side of town too, to be fair. Oh, is this, is this the dude? Nice. Okay, hold on. See, do I want this? Well, well, Mr. Blind Luck, back again. Why don't we try for real this time? This time, partner, this time I got you beat. What do you say? One more go? I'm ready. You're on. Excellent. You remember, right? Most bottle shot wins. Simple enough. All yep. right, stand alongside me. 
As soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Cussing cur. That's right. That was much closer than it normally is, though. Uh, not quite sure what kind of black magic crock that was, but come on, raise stakes. Let's go. What do you have in mind? Come on, You're on. you can make yourself. Well, that's what I like to hear. We'll do the birds again. First to knock four out of heaven gets the win. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. Wait, did I win this time? <gasps> I finally won with the birds! Well, I hope that felt good, feller. It did, I gotta Here tell you, because you go. you've beat me As every promised. single time on the birds. Thank you, sir. Curses. Thanks, friend. Careful now. Next time I may not hold back. Yeah, okay. Crossing curve. I don't know who's out that way, but whatever. Let's go! That feels good. Okay, just for future reference, the Lancaster Repeater is what I used, and that was much more successful than trying to use the, like, more scoped-in ones, so... Somebody remember that. Okay? Okay. Um... Okay, what are you guys, what are you talking about? Need some hay? Let's see, what's that? Slightly restores health. Okay. You done good, girl. We'll do a carrot. Yes, that's exactly it, Maine. Just for, just for reference, Deadeye is what you used and it still did feel like cheating, so. Don't, I don't feel great about it, but I am unable. The birds are really fast if you don't use Deadeye versus people, which are not as fast. So you don't need Deadeye. so tired. All right, girl. I just Go. gave you a carrot. You're fine. Ray <laughs> raise the stakes. Okay. I see you, noob. I see you. I imagine birds are easier with a shotgun, but I don't remember. I feel like probably no, but I also haven't tried, so that very well could be true. Star, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Wait for the wagon. Where? Over here? Make it look like me and my horse are just kind of chilling. Maybe like in here. Kind of blocked by these trees. Uh, who we got here? Beyond Oasis, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. 
And steal the wagon. And AJ Darkness, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright. I, I gotta kill you? Okay. Okay, hold on. Yep, okay, this is about as bad as it can go. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Nobody look. Nobody look. That was just... That was none of the things that I wanted it to be. Okay? Okay. Alright, now we gotta... Take this on a little... Little turn. Okay. See, what was happening there is... I was trying to lead them as, you know, I was shooting at them even though i feel like it didn't need to be that serious um once my horse went in front of the wagon like they should have just stopped but that's not what happened so it doesn't matter i looked and saw you lord <laughs> spray and pray baby um it appears also that the repeater is great for birds not so great for trying to shoot people on horseback while you're on horseback. So, lesson learned. <laughs> has, has any lasso attempt worked out for us? Yeah, we have lassoed, you know, quite a few people without getting in trouble. Not so much, but it could it could happen for us. Excuse me, people. Supplies for a love machine here. Out of the way. Oh no! I forgot to call my horse. Oh, CC, dang it. Well, we'll, we'll worry about that later, okay? Love machine takes priority Go. here. I got your moonshot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? This game is so it's great. Super fun to watch things. Uh, Thank you very much for being Andrew here, Lux. I'm Perhaps having a lot of fun playing of it, so... Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, I thought we judgment. were making a love mm -hmm. machine. Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful! Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Sir, what about love, though? What about love? And more importantly, what about my money? Oh, this wonderful methanol. Um, yeah, okay. Well, luckily, companion cute caught up, but. Oh, it's all too much. I can't believe this is really happening. <gasps> Let me, oh, 
good walk will clear my mind. Okay, sir. Investigate the commotion? Oh yeah, this guy came back. What's this? Alright. Oh my gosh. Missions are stacking up, people. Let's investigate this commotion on our way to talking to the police chief. Okay? Okay. Excuse me, trolley. Concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat, I said, get out of here. Damn, damn French. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay. An angry husband threatens. Claim he slept with his wife. Okay. So, I guess, guess we did that. Maybe the real love machine. <laughs> this is, yeah, true, true. The, the whole, um, oh, we just need a lot of, a hundred gallons of moonshine for a love machine actually just led us here to saving our dear old friend's life. All right, uh, I'm not gonna get on you, actually. I'm just gonna run, okay? Okay, actually, you follow me. Let's go, CC. Go, 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 go. This guy? You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work. It's that high father. honor. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you I have don't know no what idea. you're talking about, sir. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, Something like that. Sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, Poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But Saint Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hello there. Market to Excuse the left. You. Buy it or sell it. Excuse you, ma'am. Hello. Hi. So long. Howdy, fellas. Hi there. 
Hi. Uh, folks. Hello, sir. Look out. Hi. Careful now. Hi. Ma'am. Hello. Lay hold. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Look at how friendly we are. Quarantine Arthur's in time. Oh, you okay? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello. Is this the shop we're checking out? How are you? I can't tell. So friendly. Um, yeah, I need a haircut when we get back. This shop here? Search for clues of the captive's whereabouts. Shall do. Okay. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Don't have one, thanks. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Vanity, all is vanity. Search drawer. Are you looking for anything in particular? Ah, uh, clues mostly, but I wouldn't concern yourself with those. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Sure. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that guy was lying. Nothing really sticking out to me at the moment. Nothing much back there. I'm afraid of just a few old books. Something don't seem right. No, it don't. Who's back here? Back there. Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen... How about you open that door? Door? What door? The one behind the, the bookcase. Door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I Who's swear. they? Who is they? Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. This is my brother's store. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Sure. That's what they all say. Let's play. How's it going? Wait, did that guy leave? I should have tied him up or something, uh, huh? Hello? Gadgete, gadgete. Quién es? Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Oh my gosh. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Man, I should have tied up that shopkeeper. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. No Don't problem. Make. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. Let's see You'll if we can get through soon. this little door here. Nope. Okay. All right. Come with me, gentlemen. I will bring you to safety. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. True. They probably think you're Jesus. It's true with the beard and the long hair. I mean, for all of the good that we do and the, the brutal beatings. Oh, don't worry. I'm on your side, remember? If you can't find the shop. 
just destroy the place. I'm sure he'll come out once it's, you know, all in flames. Excuse me, ma'am. You guys still behind me? Okay. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Oh, fine. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. come okay. See again sometime. All right. I Listen. Work at the old church on it was Street if it's going to be Francis. payment, then make it payment. Don't give me the option to give it back to people who were just imprisoned and probably have no money. Howdy, sir. <laughs> I I couldn't do it when face like just <laughs> Hey Hello mister That's just that's just unfair honestly All right Convince the police chief to allow Professor Andrew Bell the 3rd to use his electric chair to execute a criminal Wait. Hold on. Is Andrew Bell the telephone guy? Right? No? Was that a stupid thing to say? Okay, don't. Right? I thought it was like telephone or something electricity related. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? His name is Alexander. Yeah, Graham Bell, you're right. So maybe, maybe we can convince this guy to give up on the whole electric chair thing and instead pour his, his knowledge and his idea into a telephone. Right? Uh, I think something is not right with history here and we have to fix it. That would make a lot more sense, like... Okay, I'll, I'll help you with your right to vote. I just gotta go get this guy. You have a problem? What's your issue? Sorry, I did not mean to park my horse on on the sidewalk, but this so is important. Okay, hold on. I need you to say I no. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing okay, the inventor this is... of a... Humane execution No, this is the love machine. machine. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think in game they the, tell you his name is Alexander wants to Bell. Demonstrate his invention here. Oh uh, shoot. I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Ooh, how about we'll negotiate? Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50. Hey! Okay, hold on, though. Bell's phone patent was 1876, according to Google. Okay, <clears throat> so this version of Bell is 23 years behind schedule, but... You're gonna get a ticket for double parking. True, but... Okay, is this a moment? Is 
is this a decision sort of thing? Like, I can leave here and I can tell that guy, like, the electric chair ain't it. <laughs> this bell lost lost a bit of time because, you know, in ingesting more moonshine than uh, inventing with it, but... Okay. I'm gonna pay this, but... Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Okay. So, maybe there's an opportunity. So, I don't want this electric chair thing to actually happen in game. So, we need to think of a way. Hello, mister. Hi there. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi, Lawman. Hello, officer. Hello. You're doing a great job. Huh. That's right. Just paid you a compliment. Hi, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello there. Decent How's it going? You got here. Oui. Oui. Okay. I just got my CPR certification. Hey, Smokey, congrats. If Ray's amazing skills put you into cardiac arrest, I got you. Okay, well, that's that's good that we have somebody certified here because, what's BD? Brother Dorkins? Is that who we just met? Oh, I can't get it to pop up. Okay, what is this? Photo studio? I feel like I'm missing stuff here. If only we could pay bounties and compliments. Listen, I will walk around your town and I will just be nice and kind and give compliments to everybody that walks by so I don't have to pay $150. I was studying for it during your stream. Yes, Smokey. Obviously because, you know, it's not necessary at all for anybody here because everybody is fine all the time but the dutch mission is um oh yeah give some money to the beggar the dutch mission is looking for bronte sorry oh, is someone there hello here you go sir 50 cents to you. There you go, oh, friend. bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Sure thing. Anything I can do to help those less fortunate than myself. Please, can you spare some money for a blind man? Okay. Continue. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, I've never gone this back way before. Oh god, sorry, sorry. Lost control of my horse. So glad we have you here to save us. Yes, lifesaver. Now we need the Red Dead Canadian Mon to be a thing to play with compliments. It's true, those Canadians are too kind. Okay. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Hi. Professor. Professor. Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So. The oh, chief says maybe you this can is Andrew Bell, and Andrew Graham Bell's formality. son. And what are they? Well, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's 
guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. <laughs> Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Pavep, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. Read. Wanna. Last site close to Grizzly's border, north of the tracks above Hartman. Heartland Why, Overflow. This is all coming together wonderfully. Yeah, yeah. The final oh. piece of the puzzle. Okay. The thing is, I. Does the game give you a choice here? Hey, Cicada, how's it going? Hi there. Hi there. Come on. If we're going all the way there, might as well get a horse. Might as well. Wait, how far? How far out is this thing? Oh, jeez, Louise. For the professor, so he is someone to execute. Okay, this is like a moral, can I choose to like not help out the professor if I do not agree with what he's doing here? So bigamy and immoral animal husbandry, huh? Oh, Maine, no, no. I mean, I could just not go any further with this side quest. Yeah. It's worth the capture and deliver him. So is there moral? No, <laughs> definitely no. Everything is optional. I'm like... Smokey's like, no, I just got certified. It must be done. I don't know what the, I don't know what the consequences of this is, but now that I know that this guy is trying to test for an electric chair, I don't really want to go any further. Like I suppose they're currently hanging people and I wish that wasn't happening either. <laughs> Trust me, I'm CPR certified. Oh, why are we doing this, Rockstar? Why? Okay. I mean, <laughs> you mean shooting lawmen by dozens? It's okay, but execution of a criminal is not. We are acting in self-defense and we're trying to do good and nobody is recognizing us trying to do good. <laughs> right off it, pretend she's not an outlaw. I was, I was a deputy for a little bit. People forget that. Why do you need moonshine for the chair? I don't get how this works either. There's something not right about this guy. And like, maybe I'm misunderstanding what he means by the electric chair. Like, I don't know. <laughs> deputy outlaw? No, assistant to the deputy. Maybe misunderstanding of love. That's, that's the only other thing. I'd want moonshine if I were to be executed. Okay, if I put myself back into 1899, where they are hanging people in public executions, is the electric chair better than that? Oh, using it for fuel for the chair? Maybe to like power, yeah, to be able to like power something that's creating the electricity. I don't know. Yeah, true. I don't like people probably suffer while being hung, hanged, whichever the appropriate word is there. But 
I mean, this this dude hasn't even tested out his electric chair at all. And now you're going to have a person like hanged. OK, I, I'm glad I second second guess myself there. It's sedative. How much do they suffer when you shoot them in the face? Right. As long as you one tap them, no suffer. Exactly. Ugh. Okay, is it? <laughs> it doesn't hurt much if you're wrong. <laughs> Dick, he told you that when he gave you the mission. He told me it was for a love machine. And then once I delivered the moonshine, he was like, by the way, love machine is actually the electric chair. Well, when you get hanged, the neck either breaks or not. If yes, then suffering. If no, then more suffocation. Okay, this is getting very dark. It's all about the current taser guns. Mm. I like kind of want to ask for a little bit of a spoiler here. I think for me, I just don't want to see an execution by the electric chair happen. Like just makes me kind of sick. So if the this is an okay spoiler, if I continue in this mission, does something happen where the chair doesn't end up getting used or like something happen? No spoilers. No, you guys, you have to. I'm ask I'm asking for the spoiler part. Okay, wait. You do. I just, I feel like it <laughs> would be a shame if no one could talk. Well, if you guys came in in time, then... <laughs> Maine comes in with like a dog with like flames <laughs> coming out of its hands. <laughs> okay. You can stop him. Well, you know what that. What you know at this point is that dude wants to electric chair someone. True. That is very true. And I do not want that to happen. So if I do not get him the outlaw, then he can no longer continue, which I think is probably the best move here. You'll see the execution and it's messy. Yeah, I, I can't do that. Okay. I can no longer continue on this mission. Thank you guys very much for the spoiler. It was just gonna like, ugh. But maybe you do want it to happen. <laughs> you need to satisfy your morbid curiosity. Okay. I've Having watched the Green Mile electric chairs, yes, I read the Green Mile. I I could not watch the movie. It just like really, just the the whole, yeah, just everything about it. Okay, yeah. Seriously, since when? Wait, have you? No, I have. I have not grumpy. That's that's on the to-do list maybe after we go talk to brother again though, right? What's what's this? Oh, that's Leopold. Leopold slash Leonardo. Okay, I'm gonna turn this car around. Uh, please hurry with our subject. Science awaits him. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I don't want to have happen. And honestly, that's what I should have done at the police station, was, well, I, I shouldn't have gone any further with that anyways, but, hello. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Hi. Oh, sir, 
<laughs> Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! He oh, I'm not gonna hurt him. All right, let's look for some clues. I mean, do animal tracks count as... No, this is not him. All right, let's ask this dude. Hey, do you see a kid run through here? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. got a bunch of things knocked over. These youths these days, we're not gonna hurt him. We're just gonna retrieve something that... Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Hey. Wait, where is it? There it is. Oh my gosh, hey. I've been without my you hat. Want your company, mister? No. You sure? Hey, what? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Excuse me. Oh, God. Please excuse me. I, I'm really sorry. Please help. Move next time. True. Okay, easy peasy. No, no, no. Everything is fine. How does this guy still find me? All right, act cool, act cool. Find sister without alerting the law. Okay. Okay. All right. You idle headed or something? That's why got me Not alert the law. Wait, where the heck is she? Oh my god, she's like downtown. How did she get there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You just run around the county's head from his family. No, no, this is this is all part of of the plan with the thing. We just we st we needed to tie up some loose ends before we could continue our search. That's it. <laughs> Creeping around like that deaf won't alert the law. Exactly. And it looks like there's only one law guy here. So as long as we avoid him. We're a okay. Actually, if I go to the end of this street. Hello, Mister. Hi, right. Misters. Look at this worthless bum. Okay. Oh, you know what? We have not gotten in trouble while wearing our bear hat, so that's gonna help. If I put that on. Shoot! I always do this. I think it's this one. Hey. Okay. Now we run. Now we don't have to worry because Okay. 
search for lawmen. <gasps> Wait, how did he get there? Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I think they just mean, I love a good plan with the thing. The thing is usually the best part. Exactly. And we're doing the thing right now. You don't fool me, Ray. I just played that mission the other day. Right, so you know, when you have loose ends, the mission becomes a lot more messy, and yeah, you just uh, can't have it. Oh, what is happening in here? What is happening is we're not in trouble. We just have to not uh, be seen by the law and return a crucifix to a woman whose mother gave it to her and... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How well does this love machine work? Asking for a friend. Well, now that I know what the love machine actually is, got to peer from behind a wall like Batman because cowboys. I think I need to do some like, I think I need to go back to like here and then cut through here and then cut through here to here. Hey, you waiting for somebody to do the work for you? The hell you were. Okay. okay. You think I'm playing horseshoes here or something? I need a cross. I need a uh, cut through spot. Okay, we'll go this way. And then we'll go here. This is no way to behave. Okay. Listen. You're lucky I don't judge on appearance. Yeah. Exactly. Because I'm obviously a good guy. I'm just sneaking around because I'm playing hide and seek with the law. We're playing hide and seek. Oh, those those lawmen love a good game of hide and seek. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. But saving Jack. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're definitely definitely gonna save. Definitely gonna save the Jack. Right after we... Okay, if I cut through the middle of here now... Is this street too busy, though? Oh, right where she is, there's a police officer. Arthur can evade the law, but he can't escape the fashion police. Everyone is a critic these days. I think the law referred to as resisting arrest, but arose by any other name. Yeah, we're definitely like, listen, we lose hide and seek, we lose hide and seek, the game is over. But, but, I don't plan on losing hide and seek. Okay, hey so there, I missed him. Hey there, you never saw me, right? Okay, is he. There's three of them right here, right now? Okay. I can't. Hello. Okay. Hello, sir. You do not see me right now. Okay, maybe if I go this way. Hi there. Great. Hey, Hi. Mister. Hey there. I'm gonna go this way. And then go this way. Excuse me? Excuse me. Wait, is that lawman getting closer or... Oh, there's one like right on top of me. Okay, I think, think I gotta go back through here, maybe. Obviously, okay, so they know the guy they're looking for, long locks, huge beard, 
can't see long locks with bear head on. To do, thank you so much for the follow. Look, keep your hands to yourself. Okay, I promise I will. Just. There's a lawman, like, right here. Yep, I see him. Okay. So. I somehow need to... Oh, maybe I can, like... I'll sneak back through here. And then through here. Okay, hold on. New, pl new plan of attack. New plan of attack. Excuse me, sir. Keeping my hands to myself. Look out! Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, look out, sir? I, why would I have anything to look out for? Okay, is there actually nobody guarding this right here? Ah, well. I don't know. I didn't know the circus was in town. I'm telling well, then. Okay. Confidence. Confidence, chat. Do you have confidence to just walk in somewhere, even if you're not supposed to be there? People will not question you, seem a little less suspicious. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. I Mentally, never touched he's him. He's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Okay, we Brother cannot Dorkins walk this way. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Okay. We're still in trouble, so I think I need to go pay this off. And if I run. Sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Okay. Minute, sure. I think I may have a bounty yeah, here. It's probably not very much. Five dollars? Easy peasy. Obviously, see? The bear hat? Completely unrecognizable. Five dollars? Whatever. And now... Now we can, you know, loose ends, tied up. Let's get our jack back, huh? Yeah, have a good one. You too. Fancy a ride? Not right now, maybe later. Go, go, go. Hide him from the police. Hey, the, uh, the, the bar of the police could, could be set higher, you know, they just em employed us, like, we will keep the streets safe, and, you know, fight, fight for the little guy, and women's rights, and... Abolishing. Oh! Come on. We've let the torch lip. You saw it. That's what happens to federal outposts in the free state of Lamorne. Damn. What am I supposed to be doing?
Was I supposed to stop them from doing that? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, we need to leave the scene. Otherwise, they could think we did it and... Yep. <laughs> that's, that's... That's where that goes. No big deal. Uh... I just... So <laughs> that's, um, I don't know. I don't think any of us should, should worry about my horse just magically disappearing or anything. Sure, that's just fine. <laughs> there you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do okay. you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust okay. me. Nobody this gets shot. Must be you okay, John? I guess. Nobody gets shot, okay? Excuse Act me, cool. sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Is this part of the long now, boy. Is this part of charm or what, what was what was this method? I I got to know. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. That's what I'm saying, John. Got this. <laughs> Vietnam, thank you so much for the follow. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Yep. Nothing to, uh... Nothing to get crazy about in here. Act. They do. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Okay, let's just... Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. Yeah, definitely not we were involved at all. Of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
ti adoro. <ride> Date da bere sti uomini. <ride> Angelo Bronte. <ride> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <ride> All mine, please. <ride> <ride> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh... No. no, no, no. So, how about this? Okay. You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dutch. Maybe I love you. <laughs> Maybe we leave the stand up comedy at home, to okay? The dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Yes, salute. <laughs> It's just business, Ray. Yeah, but... Grave well, robbers? What does this simple job really no entail, idea. you know? What choice do we have? He's blooding us None, into emotional manipulation. Guess. Saying that we smell like poop and we sm and we look bad? That's just not you know nice, man. Is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. Facts. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. I mean, that could still kid. murder Dutch while we're gone, but... I hope <laughs> it's true. When's the last time you had a deluxe He's bath? Okay. That He'll is very true. Yeah, but we, we've deserved... Well-deserved bath. Going to hold Jack Grant's. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. <laughs> hey, All right, there's... There's probably a higher quality deluxe ahead. bath now than the one in Valentine, right? Maybe this one has some... I mean, there was nothing wrong with the lovely woman in Valentine, but... Just, just, just wondering what else, you know. Search the cemetery for grave robbers. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Hmm. I think I see something. Where? You keep it down. Don't want them to bolt on us. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Should I have a weapon out? Am I using? This is... This is why no one is dying. I'll go first. You stick close. believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. 
That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. I don't know what I'm looking for. do this anymore. <laughs> Okay, I saw a person, but they ran so there, 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 run. Why aren't you running? Stop. Wait a sec. Shush. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Hey. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Our friend. Died. Okay. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Guess we're done snaking. We we go too slow when we're sneaking. They just keep running away from us. So much for the quiet from. I hear something in there. How do I get over there? Like this? Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. Oh! Damn it! How many you see? Three, four, hard to tell. You should be, Mr. Brown. Please, Ray. Okay, I hate this ducking. Thank you. Okay, we gotta keep moving. They're leading us out in the open. Send them down here. Can't see worth a damn. Exactly. We just gotta keep moving. Oh! Okay. You low down, bastards. No doubt. Oh! Jeez, that's brutal. Oh! Who do you think you are? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. If it moves, blast it. You got it. You all right? You all right? Hey, what about this guy? I don't have my gun out for some reason. He's dead. I think that's all of them. All right. Now let's find their stash. Got to be around here someplace. Hold on. Okay, but we'll I think my bear quick. hat fell off we over here. Okay. We have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay, we need. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Okay, where was it? Over here. Think there might be something in here. Pick up stash. Got it. 
There's just a little let's choin coin purse. Damn, choin. Here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Okay. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn okay. This is very unfortunate for us, so. Let's go around the side. Does this count as around the side? Try to get down. I found a body. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. As much as I want to panic and shoot, we should not do that. Don't shoot the law. Don't shoot the law. Don't shoot the law. Loot a body if available. Don't shoot the law. Run! Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Okay, run, 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 run. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Okay. The popo. -po. Just going out for a little midnight ride, sir. Nothing to see here. So, you were saying? Let's just get back here. Collect our side. Okay, of the my hands are You're like right. shaking right now. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> She's nervous, but on the surface, she looks calm and ready. She's covered in her mom's spaghetti. Come on, let's get this over with. Uh, we, we've returned. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took <laughs> your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Yeah? Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> oh. And us, just simple country boys. Okay. <sighs> well, that was nice. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. Agreed. Sure okay, son. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. Okay. It really did not take that long. I had some loose ends I had to tie up. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. What the heck? <laughs> Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. Fantafola? A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. 
Well, uh, I'm just okay. glad you're all right. <laughs> no, they spoiled him, and now we're living in a house that still has dead bodies in it. She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, kid. Good to see you, Jack. Real good to see you, Jack. You two, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Yup. Which ones? Alright, fair. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Wow, okay. Maybe you think Papa Bronte wants to... Uh, adopt. I don't know how old Arthur is, but a 30 something year old man. Jack is spoiled now. He's gonna see this house and hate it. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Howdy, Jack! Howdy, Jack! Howdy, Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play? I love spaghetti, ah. so if we... So. We're getting well, spaghetti and meatballs every night Mr. at Papa Bronte. Bronte's. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Yeah. Interesting work. But first, we gotta let's get have a cleaned drink. up for the garden party. <laughs> We got Jack back! <laughs> well, Woo! boy, say thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do Spaghetti is good for your skin. Go uh, listen. Your uh, I'm down. Spaghetti is like, it's good for the soul, you know? Make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating or what? Yeah! Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. Hey, how about a song, huh? Yeah! Play us away! Bella sierra, morena, cienito, lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, y el cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores. Cantando se alegra. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo de. You know what? We need to get ourselves a drink. We've earned it, right? Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo de a nadie. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ay, ay, ay. Got here. Wait, I don't want a canned vegetable. I want <gasps> Sadie. You okay, Sadie. Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. <laughs> All in a day's work. Okay, See, uh... I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. 
That right there, Sadie, is the type of protection that only I can give you. All right, let's drink. Hooray! Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have Bye, Jack. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Hey. llorando. The gang are celebrating the safe return of Jack and will be unavailable for other activities for a while. Hey there, Dutch. Yes, we did. Thank God. How are you? Sadie likes men that eat their vegetables. I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. Wait, where'd it go? Mr. Mmm. I love my canned peas. Yum, yum, yum. Uh. Hold on, where'd they go? Looking for my. Oh, goodness. Where is it? Um, hold on a second. Uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff in here. Gin, brandy. Mmm. Yum. You know, canned peas does to me what spinach does to, uh, to Popeye, Sadie. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be over there if Tahiti, you wanna... Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mango, <laughs> she, yeah, did you see the way she was looking at us? She was totally into the canned so. peas thing. <laughs> the fin obviously, the you think the finger guns were a little too much? Or... Hold on, maybe, um... Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry, it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks Only down some here. folks thought it was unfair. Okay, may maybe she wants us to like shave a little. Where where's our? Oh, maybe it's not available right now. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. It's... They went to lynch me. <laughs> no but, finger uh, guns, no chance. The ladies saw, love the finger the guns. Clean through. <laughs> All we need are peas and neck. finger guns, women. Oh, was you scared? Like butter in our hands. Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Us like <laughs> unanimous decision. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, we sing another song. Let's leave him to play a minute. You know, boys, there ain't no being saved, ain't no being lost. Them fights was over long ago, or never happened, was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. Okay, let's just, let's just, okay, let's, hold on, let's. Ain't no good. How do I escape it? How do I escape it? Oh my god! Make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying. And if it be a sunset, the bastard I see. Without a little ribbon tarp and having a cold and navy blue. Let him climb. How do we? Where do I? Where can I go? 
Hey, Kieran, how's it going? It's your fault that boy went missing. <laughs> it wasn't... I mean, I've said that I'm sorry. Count yourself real lucky. <coughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Sure, be good now. <laughs> Mars Kid, thank you so much for the follow. And Zalan Abbas, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, maybe maybe we'll have some stew. Um Can I could I have some stew? Another song! Come on! <laughs> can I get the words to that song for my Sunday school club? Those words should never be sung outside of I mean honestly they shouldn't be sung anywhere, but Get some rest. Get some rest. Get some rest. Who am I, a child, to be talked to like that? I am a lady. All right. Think. Uh. Think we should grab an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> well, I must say, you're the nicest you've ever come across and you look like, uh, Aerith from the Final Fantasy remake. I haven't played Final Fantasy, but, um, I'm gonna just hope that's a compliment. I'm over, oh yeah, I'm easily like 190 years old. Alright, we'll sing a little, you know. Are you an elf? Maybe. If I tell you, I'd have to kill you, so I can't confirm nor deny. Very good. Okay, hopefully that, that song was a little cleaner. I'm hoping, maybe. I'm gonna take that as a no. You okay, Arthur? There he is, old Arthur. Hey. The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. So you agree I'm manly? Drunk, Arthur? It smells drunk. Well then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Yeah, chill out a little, please. Oh, this is a mess. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. See? See? What I tell you. Hey Pearson. Hey okay, Pearson. Listen. Yes indeed. Listen. Feels like we can move forward again. Fate. I hope so. Fate. It's okay, well, matters. let's talk more later. All right, hold on. I'm gonna listen to what Dutch has to say. And we made it. We are gonna make it. Mm -hmm. We have a plan. <laughs> right? Like. My loved ones. So true. They. Okay, Rockstar. Plan. Before Karen was even mainstream, they had the OG place, Karen. And we are gonna find our own paradise. Here, here. Heaven. Tahiti. Tahiti. Fiji. Australia. The real new world. Not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has handed out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free. Okay. I was. That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Uh, listen, I'm trying not to come to any unreasonable conclusions, but once Dutch site sort of got going, see happy. We we got this storm rolling in. Uh, I don't know if it's a sign, All day long, but the prairies I ride. Not even Coffee I bought out being ground. I wash it. Oh, Karen. I carry my water. I apologize. I cook 
Don't feel like it. And a sleep on ground for want of call. Alright, maybe maybe we'll just sit around the fire for a little bit. If I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. That's not true. We'd have both died. Six points cabin. Yes. That's true. Oh, brother, I am really drunk. Yeah, I can tell. I think, uh, I think the weather's calmed down a little bit. Hey, Ray! Love the name. <laughs> Alright, maybe something a little more upbeat and positive. Maybe about the God of Thunder fits in the, the repertoire. Seems pretty upset right now, if you can't tell. you, Pearson. Is that your... Just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> is that right? Sure is. Well, the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. Hey, hey, hey. All Let's... talk, huh? Come on, Bill. He was and drunk and just getting at? mouthy. Not much. You okay, Pearson? You all right? <coughs> I'm fine. <sighs> you two stop acting like idiots. Maybe you don't need another beer. That storm's a brewing. This wasn't the. Oh man. to be over, but... Alright, let's get inside, everybody. Let's get inside, Pearson. Okay. Well, nobody wants to listen to me, I guess. Epic <laughs> out. Thank you, Mr. Protein. What's going on there, Lenny? It's all coming back to me. <laughs> good times. Ah, uh, good times. Does this mean the party's over, or...? Everything okay? Get up. Sorry. Oops. It's too tempted. Man, people pass out everywhere. Literally on the floor. Hey, Strauss. Oh, Strauss, we're celebrating. I'm very happy to see young Jack again. Well, smile then. Well, I should get back to it. Be well. We'll leave Kieran there. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, I didn't even see Susan there. Oh, just kidding. Sorry, just kidding. I mean... Doesn't seem to be letting up at all. Who's talking? Jeez 
Louise. Hey. Why don't you why don't you go inside, Pearson? It's a torrential downpour right now. the don't wake daddy and then I just sang because I saw Mr. Proteins. Okay, it's fine. Maybe I'll go upstairs, huh? Guess our party's over. <laughs> it's just me? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, who's in here? Nobody, it looks like. Whose room is this? Nobody's. I hear voices, I just don't know where they're coming from. Hmm. Maybe one of these? This? Or is this my room? Oh. Okay. Wait, let's get ourselves a little shave in here. We're looking. All right, let's trim the hair. Everything. Oh gosh, yeah, let's take this down. Take a two, three, boom. Okay. And there, look at us now. <laughs> they're inside your head. No, no. I, I promise they're in real life in game. I I can't quite place my finger on where, but they're somewhere. Well, what a crappy day. Who's this? MB, Mary Beth. Mary Beth needs to speak to us and Hosea need to speak to us. And what's this? Rustling? What's rustling? <laughs> Arthur be looking like, I don't know, looked better before. Or is he looking like a smack? That's what I told my doctor. The voices are real, doc. I promise. Does it mean rustling like? All right, I'll see what that means. Look at this storm. How are we supposed to make it to the garden party with weather like this? That was some party last night. Yes, Mr. it Bell. was. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you sleep. Well. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Okay. Hey, maybe it's slowing down a little? I don't know what I'm doing. Cattle, Cattle rustling? I don't know, do we? A letter has arrived for you. Return to camp to read this. Where is it? Upstairs? I'm too much potion whiskey. Like the waves of a bay of biscuit. I began to tumble and roar. Nice, that's good, Reverend. Did I hear cattle rustling? I believe so. Oh, is it finding carriages? Isn't this the song about how we... Wait, what? Okay, very good. Good call, Blob, good call. Um, I did not see that coming. I, I gotta, gotta be honest with you. 
Okay, we need to... Oh my gosh, this is so... I was just thinking about Blue's Clues the other day. And this is a perfect time for... We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but... I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am a shame to do so. Yours, Mary. Hmm. <laughs> Still not as bad as Baby Shark. Uh, I, I won't do it to you. I won't do it to you. Right? Also, we have made a mess. Okay. Okay. Not, not sure who you mean by that, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is nobody's fault, but regardless, I am now in some trouble. Why did I drink that much? Happens to the best of us. Okay. So now what? We've got a couple things. Let's go talk to Leopold. Also known as... That, that checks out. That checks out, I guess. My CPR instructor sang us baby shark. Wait, is this a new CPR technique? This is the way. The way. I guess this is pretty. The light shining through the trees. Sorry. It's okay. Ooh, a bunch of herbs. Hi, Leonardo. Yep. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, right. Mr. That Morgan, puts a little, will you help me finalize our A little our difficult to be ranchers with no cattle, but I like where this is going. This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this game turns into Stardew Valley when you get to Australia. Yeah, you get like a... A little coupon code for Stardew Valley. I think you sing it until the subject wakes up and slaps you. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. I could see it. I could see it actually. Could work. 
You do compression suit, apparently, as long as you're doing 100 to 120 per minute. Baby shark, do 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 do. That's a that's a lot. That's a lot of compressions, actually. I don't know if I have the um. I don't even know if I have the stamina to do that. But I suppose if you're in the process of saving someone's life, you probably get a little like little adrenaline rush, which which helps you stay on pace. Enjoy <laughs> your non-breathing state. Be like, well, I clearly did not train for this. Stamina needing for baby shark CPR? Correct. And it's been so cold. Like, I haven't been able to go out on my runs. Like, I just... Heart strength is not where it used to be. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So, looks like only one person owes us money. What's this? Mary? Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. So, we got some guy just chilling down near Braithwaite Manor. Probably do it. My wife only has one bad habit. Tannis, do we want to know what it is? DNR, do not resuscitate. I don't know exactly where you are, Way, but I went running the other day and it was 12. It was fun. No, once it starts getting too cold, it's been like almost single digits, but I, I, my lungs, like I feel like when it gets too cold, I can't breathe and then that makes me panic. I know, me panicking, very weird, but it does happen sometimes. And you just you just don't really want to be panicking while you're running. <laughs> One running, cold running. Especially if you just like don't like running oh, and you're only you doing it so you can consume cookies. Like it's just. Well, I guess that's the motivator, right? You're like, oh, if I go for a run, then I can have like X amount of cookies, but. <laughs> Better to not get ice cream lungs. Pretty sure running is common when panicking. There should be some tie between the two, yeah. Does this have perk trees or bushes? Okay then. This heap already. Molder and waste that it is. Bet this old church was pretty in the day before the usurpers got their hands on it. Okay. I'm just looking right now. No need for anybody to get crazy. We were sorting powder here. Someone dropped a Lucifer and that was that. They weren't the traders? I guess we wouldn't have had powder there. They hadn't been no war. And that fella... Get down and cover now! Well, look at whose path is crossing again. <laughs> you gonna come here! Keep the fire on! Damn it! Move in! Plenty of here and plenty of Go, go, go! Shit. Enemies are close to camp. Avoid leading them. Okay! Oh! Okay, hold on. I just didn't, I didn't see, just run it back. Just run it back. I, also, I was hidden, so I don't know how anyone saw me. Except maybe they saw Cece. Ex they didn't see me. They, oh, true, true. Maybe they thought I was a bear. Hmm. Okay, honest mistake, honest, honest mistake. Okay, this was clearly all Cece's fault. Doesn't have any common sense, like, yeah, we're supposed to be sneaking right now, hello? It's the hat. The hat should be scaring people off, like, you're gonna really, oh my gosh, they really are right here. Well, it's not anymore, probably, but. Okay. Now we do not need to investigate there. 
What is this little, like... What's the little gray dot? What is... What's this? Oh. Okay, on the outside. Right. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And we're this way. <gasps> okay. I didn't... I didn't hear I didn't... No, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that fox just, like, ragdolled. <laughs> okay, I didn't see it. I'm focused on the road. Honestly, the fox... Like... I I can't. I don't want to say that fox had it coming, but like kind of did. That <laughs> was that fox jumped out in front of us. It was clearly a suicide attempt. Hey there, Mister. How's it Hi going, there, Mister? You look real, real strange. Ain't I'm not to though. Worry about. Anyway, how's your day been so far? All right, well, I guess I'll leave you to it. Anyways, ta-ta for now. <laughs> so what does, <laughs> what did the fox say there? Um, wait, wasn't this where I got attacked by the cougar? Yes. Yes. My my heart rate just shot up and I now know it's because I recognize Okay. All right. Everybody needs to chill out. Okay. We're not going to need it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to save save the can peas, but it's usually a good idea to keep your guns out in this game. Oh, wait, was it a panther that got me? I thought it was a cougar. Very well could have been. I wasn't sure. I wasn't looking. Um, unaware until I died, actually. Okay. I, I'm trying to give this guy a chance here. If I don't have my gun out, then he knows that I mean it. I mean, if he's a fisherman, well, I'll look in here, huh? Marlon presents. Thank you so much for the follow. Also, Mr. Protein, I think I missed your follow. Thank you so much. Hello? Anybody out here? Hello, sir. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. I do. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Great. Well, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. That's totally fine, sir. Just here to collect the money. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, um, I like doing it sober. Exactly. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies. You weren't catching fish. Now, come on. Let's get us that debt. This is as fast as I can go. 
Okay, no worries, sir. Someone's here, boy. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Oh, just wait. Stand there. Go fix I've been drink. in this house before. Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Okay. Come take it. It's right here. What about that knife that's right there? Oh! I cut your damn head! Clean off! Okay. So now, let's see if we can, uh... Oh yeah, maybe we should loot him. Okay! He <laughs> jumped. That was, uh... That was the wrong answer so um right okay let's just search maybe search in here okay can't take the gin that's unfortunate and uh over here I think she, I think she handled that well. I think, you know, self-defense. That's pff, all self-defense there. Would you, what do you think? I would just randomly beat someone to death like that? No, no, no. Double-barreled shotgun. I think I already have one. So brutally? Now. Oh. Paul, what you done? What you done? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. That was a very wise decision. Next wise decision would be for you to stay under that bed until I have my money. And then I'll be on my way. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, wait. Aren't I collecting these? That's it. I told you. Hold on. I'm collecting these, okay? Aha. Yep. I need these for something. I really do love candy, you though. Won't find nothing else here. Please just leave. <sighs> Gosh, I bet that's really good candy too. Like, probably chocolatey, and maybe it has like a caramel center. Maybe it could potentially have a golden ticket. Go to the chocolate factory. Could take Jack with me. That'd probably be good. Seems like a good kid. I bet we could win. Possibly new. Okay. For, for the opportunity that maybe there's nougat in there. Or a golden you ticket. There's more here? That's it. Please go. Hey, aren't you a kid? Why do you got some bourbon? Are you old enough to drink? Is there any in here? All right, stay in that room until I leave, okay? Outlaw Fordman, thank you so much for the follow. All right. Okay, A, hold on. Okay, I'll take some of those. Mm 
What do we got over here? Little letter. Read. Letter to Nate from Mama. Dearest Nate, I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to you, which is certainly better than none. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like I did, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just couldn't take it a day longer. You know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking, which was all the time at the end. I found work and am renting a small house. Just give me the word and I will send for you. We can both start again. Love always, Mama. You know, with absolutely no connection for what went down here in the past couple of minutes, I feel like now would be a really great time for um, for Nate to connect with his mother. Um, she has a small house and she's found work. Um, he could be away from his father. That, that would probably be good. Um, you know, he clearly has a drinking problem and is passed out in the kitchen right now, so... Maybe I should go mention this to Nate, huh? I'm sure he knows. Wait, is this his dad's room? How did he not read that letter? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna take this, and I'll take that, and I'll search the drawer in here. Nope, okay. Since you just killed- no, no, Tannis. His dad is sleeping. Clearly sleeping. Like, what- what sort of dead person would look like that? It's- yeah, it's honest- like, honest mistake. I totally get it, but, um... Alright, we should probably tell this kid that his mom wants you got to- the money go, won't you? Hey, listen, your mom has a house. And I think you should probably go live with her. This doesn't really seem like a very safe environment for you anymore. Um, I could I could take you there. I've my horse is out back. Uh, if you just wanna if you just wanna come with me, I'll just take you on your way and <laughs> obviously sleeping. Um yeah, Smokey! Smokey, CPR, please. <laughs> Poor kid cowering under the bed. It's just the bear, the bear hat, like, poking under. This kid is scared for his life. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I was here previously and I took whatever was in here. I mean, I searched the chest, but didn't take anything. Clearly, it's all still there, and... <laughs> let's, let's get him. All right, well, we gave the kid an opportunity. He didn't want to come with us, so... Uh... All right, well. We successfully recovered the debt, and that's the one thing we needed to do. Getting the boy out safe was sort of just a bonus, but, uh... Why is my health not going up? <laughs> strong, strong Bible connection. When, and when a man wearing a, a bear hat comes to you offering you salvation, Apparently that kid's never read the Bible. Okay. Uh, I think we gotta go back. Go back here. All right, everyone keep your eyes and ears peeled. I have been murdered here by a giant cat before. Just 
trying to be very aware of my surroundings, you know? <laughs> Misunderstood. Who is it? It's me, Charles. Sorry, you just freaked me out a little bit. No, no, that, that kitty wasn't misunderstood. That kitty was a murderer and very lucky. It ripped my throat out within like 12 seconds. Uh, yeah. Wait, what is this? Yeah, it's my camp, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, we need some supplies. We have tons of camp funds. Sadie, Sadie, hey. Hey, hold on. Hold on. So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay then. Okay, okay. All right, let us. Hey, Arthur. Hey there. This is in the upstairs. Oh. No, we, we can rob a stagecoach oh, later. You're gonna catch your death if you don't get warmer clothes. This bear hat is surprisingly warm. Kitty a murderer confirmed. Is it too early in the relationship to ask for marriage? Honestly, like... I think every time she sees us, the the love just sinks in a little deeper, like takes more of a stronghold in her soul. She won't be able to resist us much longer is what I'm saying. This was my least favorite camp. I kept getting lost. I also don't like, I like the last camp we had. I wish we could could have stayed there. All right. We need some stuff around camp, I guess. All right, let's see. Batwing, coffee, cash, poor musky. Coyote pal, okay, all right. It seems like some people are contributing, it appears, so that's good. Luna, thank you so much for the resub. Yes, Clemens Point is a great camp. So is Horseshoe Overlook. I know, and I know they're just gonna keep taking us like deeper into like this Louisiana sort of area, but like, I don't know. The, they, they were just really great. Okay, let's restock provisions and restock the ammo. Okay, let's skip on lodging for now. What what sort of things do we actually need here? Do we need a horse station? It would be nice to have chicken coop, camp boat. It's very nice. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you, Ray? I'm good, Luna. How are you? That explains it, but... You know, I guess they haven't understood the power of layers yet. Wait, what? Oh, oh, the them always asking why I'm cold, even though I'm clearly not. Okay. Met a traveler selling an old boat. Useful, question mark? Doesn't seem so sure. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Is chicken coop worth it? I'm doing, or I'm glad you're doing well. You're getting so far. I know. Wait, I'm in chapter four now, right? Chickens are nice. Does anybody really need a horse station? No, but we all want one. Yeah, but do we need a horse station as much as we need a chicken coop? I'm thinking like... Upgrade Dutch's lodging encourages others to donate. Now, for $220 and Dutch getting nice uh 
comfier quarters, why would everybody else start to donate more? Why skip lodging? Maybe your gang wants to live comfy? Well, right now, Dutch is the only one that gets to, but I do have a little extra money in my pocket, more than I usually do, so... Maybe we can splurge on a couple of things. It seems like lodging will enc encourage others to to donate, so... Maybe we do lodging and the chicken coop? Oh, wow. That looks absolutely the same as it did before. Cool. Okay. Upgrade Arthur's Lodging. Unlocks the fast travel map, allowing you to quickly travel to previously discovered locations. <laughs> looks better in camp. Literally, I walked into the, that room and it looked exactly like that, so... Um... Alright, fast travel, grooming supplies, that seems... Maybe we see where the chickens get us, huh? How about some chickens? The chicken coop has been purchased, increasing the quality of Pearson's stew. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Do you think my horse would end up... Like, what sort of value is this going to have on my horse, you know? No, I, um, what, what mission was it that got me all that money? I think it was the bank robbery one. <laughs> it's pro probably faceless. I agree. Yeah, I just, I haven't really spent money on anything yet. So I, I'm feeling this is like, oh, it's a widow house for widow chicken. And for our horsies being so good, I feel like a horse station would really like that that could be that could be good, right? You know what? Let's do it. The camp horse station has been unlocked. Recall your main horse to camp or access stables quickly. Alright, that really wasn't worth three hundred dollars, but at least we did it. Okay, I don't think we need the boat yet, but what do we what do we think of this? The the thing is, I don't know if I would use the fast travel cuz I feel more immersed in the game when I'm riding my horse, but grooming supplies though. <laughs> you could definitely afford it. I ended so much in this game, I was rich by the end of it. I I have not been hunting as as much as I as I want to be and should be. I'm just really into the missions. They're so good, or the quests. Okay. We rarely splurge on ourselves, but I, I feel like feel like some grooming supplies. Maybe Sadie. We should have gotten a good look at Sadie's husband. Maybe he was clean shaven. Probably smelled a little bit better than we did. Uh, I believe, uh... I believe that to, you know... To put it more nicely, we smell like poo, but... He was a corpse, yeah. But we still could have got, like, the gist of what he was about. It's weird. I don't recall this part when I played it originally. It seems like I had fast travel to begin with. Oh! Well, maybe you were really quick to, to like, upgrade your lodging, though, Joe Bob. If you have more than one horse at the stable, you can retrieve any horse. Ooh. I mean, I only have one good horse, so... Luciano, how's it going? I saw a video where someone tried to walk a bowl of stew across the entire map. Wait, yeah, did they actually do it? Definitely didn't have fast travel, unless you had mods. Okay, 
I I think I'm gonna do it. Just because I'm curious what the next like upgrade for lodging is. Easy. Um quirk? Hi everybody. Oh, and then they get you for 300 extra dollars, everyone can sleep a little nicer. Which set are you using? Which set of what? Quirk, thank you so much for the raid. Hello. Hello. Seam, thank you so much for the follow. How's it going, everybody? Wait, I didn't see Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Mostly blind Mitch. Thank you so much for the follow. All good. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. I was like, I don't know. I'm kind of on a crappy horse because mine accidentally died last stream. Well, not accidentally. Okay, not, not accidentally. What happened was I was ambushed by like, it was at least 30 dudes. And my horse that I've had for 40 in-game hours, like, dove in front of a bunch of bullets and, and saved my life for easily 10 more seconds before I died. And then I lost, lost my horsey forever. Yeah. R.I.P. Hot Tomato. That was a good horse. Facts. MC Magoo, thank you so much for the follow. And Mop JT, thank you so much for the follow. So you just killed another old lady with a kick in the head, right? No, I um I have not killed anybody. I did get into some trouble for tying people up and then got accused of kidnapping when that couldn't be further from the truth. I tied them up and left them exactly where they were. Quirk, no. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Diesel, Zoom, Taylor, Magoo, Germ, Gary, Doc, Dyer, Gilded, and Silver. You guys all just got subs gifted to you. LDG, thank you so much for the follow. Hi. Wait a second. Are you the girl from the overly attached girlfriend meme? I am not, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. It's about time to wash that bear hat. Never. It has the stench of a hero on it. Seriously, Quirk, thank you so, so much for the raid in the 10 gifted. That is a way too nice. Quirk is going to start another stream just so he can raid a second time. Okay, let go. Take everybody back, Quirk, and then come back when I'm doing something cool and not looking at like, oh, should I upgrade lodging for everybody? Yes. Yeah, I had to, uh, I know, too nice, too nice. Did somebody say Ray looks like the overly attached girlfriend meme? They did, and wouldn't be wrong. Sneaky, thank you so much for the follow. I love Quirk for a gifted sub, but I brain damage from his stream refreshing. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what? It's, it, you guys have fun. You guys have fun. Okay. Highlight in Quirk's chat costs way more. Wait, really? Wait, I think, can I make the face? How did that look? No, Akaru, no. Is it over 9 million? What the heck? Okay. I'm gonna buy everyone nicer lodging. I'm in a good mood. You guys are all here. And I'm gonna be able to be like, oh, but I'm such a nice, I'm such a nice person. I gave everyone way better lodging. You know, it appears lots of people are still sleeping on the ground, but you know what? Nicer, nonetheless. Okay, so the only thing I'm not buying right now is the camp boat. Um, what well, we can always borrow a boat if we really, really need it. 
That was an overly frightening girlfriend face. You're welcome. That face might haunt my nightmares. <laughs> At least I did it when I'm small in the bottom corner of my screen, you know? Yes, I did unlock fast travel, but I will probably not use it because... Uh, I like just riding around places. Okay. <sighs> Where to next, folks? Where to next? Okay, let's see. see. Oh, the art gallery. Wait, when do we get to go to the... um? When do we get to go to the part, the garden party? Ray, don't do the face. When you start the stream, please no. Deal. Ray looks quite fetching on that sweater. Acoustic, thank you. It's, it's new. It's one of those fancy new sweaters that all the kids are wearing. That's, it's like a bat wing or whatever they call it. Okay, let's go talk to Mary Beth, because I feel like I should. Finally, Ray. I bought all the lodging. You did? Okay, well, I, I did not have a lot of money back then, and I definitely was not going to spend it on lodging. Oh, now that I bought nicer lodging, let's see what, uh, what Sadie thinks of us. And go where? This is all I got for now. And you all ain't so bad. Like this one. We ain't Axel so bad! Axel's blooded but he ain't really. Now, that I ain't so sure about. Bro! Hi, Sadie. That's cold-blooded, huh? You're a good man, behind it all. Maybe you don't know me well enough yet, Mrs. Adler. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Oh my gosh. You guys, she <laughs> likes us. She really likes us. We're in voice. Woo! Okay, what was I? Oh yeah, I gotta go talk to Mary Beth. Blech. I don't even know where she is over here. You know what it was? You know what it was? It was that can of peas. It was the can of peas at the party. A hundred percent. That's what gave us the in, you know? That sure is an interesting choice of outfit. Does anyone know if she says something different if you have low honor? Oh, Rit. She likes my sweater. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. Good. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but... But we're still alive. Mm. That's good. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys yeah. care for Honestly, me Honestly, Sadie, no it's time to move me. on. Your husband's well, dead and he's not coming back. And, uh... Us, Arthur. Not after mm. Mama got typhoid and... That was a long time ago. <laughs> Ray sure. Grutz. Oh you? my gosh. <laughs> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, Mary who? And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? No regrets. <laughs> <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? <gasps> She's been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we headed? Daniel and Faria, thank you, you guys so much for the follow. Just no! Get going. Oh my gosh. I should have oh, knew right. something was up. Tilly wasn't hey, even quick. at the party. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. 
How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. Oh, you we're getting our that? Tilly back. No. Our she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Out of the way, sir. Oh, yes. This Phil, thank what you so you much for the follow. I think I saw one of the foreman's hassling her in Valentine. Yes, we did. Yes. We did. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? What she happened? killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Oh, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. Self-defense. I totally get it. Right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they I'm... touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will mm. eviscerate the sons of bitches. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah, I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Now get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, jeez Louise. What the hell? Hey! What the hell? <laughs> 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 Yes! It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... It don't matter what you thought. It's okay. You're right, safe go. with me now. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring him back over the line. Don't let them get it. All right. Okay. Get after them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait. There. Straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. Oh, you're going to pay. Can you shoot this guy or what's going on? Oh, there they are by the shoreline. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Uh, I don't. I don't. The thing is, I don't see anybody. You the wrong girl. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I'm clearly going the wrong way now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Hold god. Oh jeez Louise. Okay, real quick, get back on the horse. Just get back. <laughs> Please. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Okay. Yep. Why Easy stop. <laughs> okay, hold on. Everything oh, is fine. We're Everything is... Them. We're not gonna lose them. You just gotta believe. When you believe anything is possible... Can't this horse go any faster? Listen, no. And we're honestly very, very lucky it's still alive. I'm confused. Is this oh, him? These cowards. You've got a couple more seconds to regret what you did. I don't know. Should I be shooting? I'm supposed to be shooting? Okay. This is a lot of confidence. She apparently has a gun and can shoot, but like can't. All right, I 
think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to t Okay, hold on. We need, or no, cocaine gum, cocaine gum is for me, right? Don't kill me. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Come here. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Get this oh, off of me. You ain't dead yet. Gonna make these nice and Okay. This <laughs> is... You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. That was a wild ride, I'm head over but... There now to check she's okay. Yeah, there pleasure. you go. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm hey! Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Ooh. Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Yeah, well, you should have so thought about that before. Up, you stole a crush of mine. My goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going to do with me? I ain't sure oh. yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. Seems fair. You're wasting your time with that W. Girl. She's a liar. Ren She's and Hard Q, like thank you so much me. for the follows. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut hey. your mouth now, Anthony. I've yeah. heard enough. Son of a bitch. You're not going to call her the B word in front of me. Damn coward. Yeah. What the hell? That's for calling her the B word. Oh, shoot. Great. My horse is out of stamina. All right. What's, uh... What do we think Cece's least favorite food is? So then we can give it to this horse. How about a pear? It's kind of just like a worse apple, you know? Enough of that sass, mister. I will have no more of it. Pears are always either not ripe or too ripe. They're just like, like, what are you trying to be, Pear? Are you trying to be an apple? And just right. like. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. There you go, Miss Tilly. So he's still alive then? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. Oh. You want that? I want him to go away. Okay, And tell hold the on. remaining That's of just... his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History okay. Good choice. Done. Good choice. Good choice. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, we're gonna spare him. <laughs> let's get you home. <laughs> but let's make something very clear, yeah. Anthony Foreman. You come near Tilly Jackson ever again, and you're gonna wish that I slit your throat. All right, <gasps> hot tomato. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I knew this day was coming and it still does not make it any easier right now. <sighs> okay, so. Hot tomato, something happened. Um, 
Something happened. I... Listen, I was riding into Saint Denis and uh, Hot Tomato and I got ambushed. There was 30 to 50 men somewhere in there. Listen, numbers don't matter. They came out of nowhere. They, they moved fast. They were strong. They had powerful weapons. I was totally unprepared. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm choking up a little. Bullets were flying. I took down, you know, more than half of them all by myself. And... <sighs> Can you please... Thank you. I'm trying to tell a story here. Anyways. I did everything I could. And, uh... We, we put up a fight. We put up a fight. But we were surrounded. Bullets flying everywhere. And Hot Tomato used himself as a shield for us. To, to be able to get away. And, and we did. We lived for probably another five to six seconds. And, uh... Just, was, just wasn't enough time. I just didn't have enough time, man. But I think what hurt even more is after I got reset in game, they gave me some some one dollar and ninety cent horse thinking I wouldn't notice. But I noticed. Oh boy, I noticed. And I sold that horse so fast and uh it was hard. It was really hard. But, uh, for now, we, we've we got a, a horse. Her name is Companion Cube. Um, CC for short. She's no hot tomato, but... Man, is she trying. <laughs> she... Okay. You know, it, let, let the record show, even though the VOD made it seem like it took at least 15 minutes for me to notice that it wasn't the same horse, I, in my heart, I knew that was cheating me. <laughs> right? Right? Especially when the stream prior, I saw that people were gonna pay like $48 for a hot tomato, and then to replace him with some $1.90 I don't even know what type of horse it was, but just hurt, man. Just hurt. It was just painful. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess I'll ride this horse back, I guess. Yep. I had never. Yeah, exactly. They put me on a dollar and 90 cent yeah. rotten tomato. Cold potato. It was just... It, it was the most insulting thing I have ever had a game do to me. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And... I, I think... I don't know. I, I think that may hurt more. Knowing that hot tomato gave his life for us to possibly be able to escape. We didn't, but, you know, that doesn't matter. But then to put us on some rotten tomato. Oh. Tomato or tomato? Tomato. It was a boy. We will remember hot tomato fondly and as a hero. <laughs> for that for that 10 seconds more of life and i gotta be honest i i did nothing with that 10 seconds except try to try to pop a tonic way too late and and perish quickly oh shoot oh god my bad my bad sorry sorry <laughs> with this with this own streaming clip Hi. 
Hey there. Doesn't matter how expensive it was, you can't replace your horse. You can't. We we had so many good times together. It just the the pain is you can't even imagine. It just hurts. <laughs> Peanut butter potato time. In the stream following, I it's me, Arthur. I tried to catch like four or five new horses and just nothing, nothing, nothing was doing it. Alright, what do we got? Hot tomato with still no roach. I actually have the very first horse that I bought in game. Um, I didn't, didn't name it roach, but called it Roach, mainly because I couldn't figure out how to, when I first started playing this game, I couldn't figure out how to name a horse, but I did have a Roach in honor of, and it's, it's just not a very good horse. <laughs> it was. Exactly. Yes, I would like to believe that time heals all wounds, but I just don't know about this one. I think it's a little too deep. Ray, what is your favorite flavor of Pocky? Normally I get the chocolate, but the strawberry is also pretty good. Randomly just remember there was a scandal in the UK a couple years ago where they found out that supermarkets were selling beef burgers that were actually made from horse meat. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the kind of tox toxicity I need you to keep to yourself, Faceless. That is no place anywhere outside right in here. That is... Uh... L Lid Addicta? Thank you so much for the follow. I remember that one faceless in Iceland. We didn't quite know why it was such a big scandal because we eat horse. Oh my gosh, I can't imagine eating poor defenseless horsies. What is happening? Oh, it's probably not going to draw the line. Okay, fine. No, it really happened. Wait, I think I just saw a, um, isn't there a news article here in, um, here in the U.S.? I think Subway is in trouble because their tuna doesn't have any fish in it or something. You think cows aren't defenseless? Don't you have anything okay, cows are to totally different, Juan. Totally Jose. different. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old party! Old friend Dutch finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay, well. Thank you so much for the resub. How is Red Dead treating you? Really, really well. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. I am sure that we will find something. Okay. Hey, cheers to that. Ooh. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Okay, fine. Makes sense, makes sense. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, oh, my. The beautiful evening is, is this Arthur Morgan or Brad Pitt? I'm not so sure. We are Good very evening, fancy. Yeah. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, Ooh, you know, okay. uh, respect. Ah, uh, respect, Jose, yes. Bill, you join the party. 
We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gum gum? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Sure. This is Gibby. Thank you so much for the follow. Man, rich people have real weird tastes in, uh, in art. Hey, I thought no guns were allowed at this party. Boys, you arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mm -hmm. mayor. <laughs> Henri Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. Mm -hmm. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, Just the unseemly. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. Yeah. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taking it. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't mm -hmm. waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Oh, sure I think I'm all set with where things <laughs> are day, now. Gentlemen. Thank you, though. Ooh, good day to you. But before you go, what... Uh, Ricky, exactly thank you so much for the follow. Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> bye-bye now. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. I feel like Dutch has the like. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome. He's got the look and like the air about him. Like he he could be a part of this sort of scene, but Arthur just kind of seems like. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Little fish out of water. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name? Milton knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Alright, let's go mingle then. <laughs> it's exactly club. 
Yeah, a haircut would definitely, it would it'd take us a long way, but. Hello, sir. Get me a bloody drink, will you? Oh. A small one. Just big enough for Champagne, me Champagne, sir? Hello. Sure. <laughs> you know what? Thank you, sir. I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. Well, sir. Oh. Hello, ladies. You deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty. Doing? But somehow, just lovely. I am not Thank free you. to vote. That's nice. Look me in the All the best. And tell Take me care, dear. Honesty, Take care now. The equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again, Mrs. Wicklow. All right. What did uh? What did the mayor look like again? I think he's out this way, huh? Hello, gentlemen. Just fine. Well, thank you. Would you like awesome. What? I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> the mayor. Trooper Clark, thank you so much for the follow. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> okay. Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Yeah. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. I will in one moment. I just need to take you away from Come the party. On, sleep it off. This guy's drunk. Nothing to see here. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. All right. Now, uh... Sir. Okay. Where where were we now before so rudely interrupted? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Very much. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? <laughs> oh, Lord. The writer? Well, we seem oh. to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 My Lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please you say something about Cornwall? Yes. yes. Find out what. Sure. Follow the servant and remain undetected. Two things we are very good at, so that's good. Oh. Very beautiful, huh? place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Uh, 
Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Do, do, do. Have you lost do, 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 do. your mind? Lushes, how's it going? Have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Shoot. Oh, I can't eat right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Idaho, how's it going? Eating cereal, just checking on Twitch, liking Red Dead so far? Yes, very, very much so. Oh, I don't have my satchel on me, so I gotta eat real food. Hey, Dutch, Dutch. <clears throat> Find anything? I think oh, so. Yeah. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Moose, through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And true, I heard true. About a high stakes poker game. Come on. Okay, nobody get too excited. We might be able to fit in the high stakes poker game, maybe. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Nope. Hmm. I was so sneaky, I might Dutch. I have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose <gasps> is handling reconnaissance Us? on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. 
Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One right. big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Sounds good. <sighs> Poker, I barely know her. Blob. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll see myself out. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, I know. <laughs> Wait, I, now I can eat my actual food. Nice. We should probably go eat bread chunk. All right, that'll do. Arthur looked great at the ball, but it would be even better if he was wearing the bear hat. Except just being like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is, it's part of my identity, who I am. Excess, thank you so much for the follow. That we would have a whole look. The people would not have been ready for it, but uh, it would have been exactly what they needed, you know? Someone said high six poker. Ray's giving me a late Christmas present. Hey, if we can squeeze it into our very, very tight schedule. All right, what do we get? What do we got going on here? We got a question mark. Dutch mentioned that a gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in St. Denis on behalf of Rain's Fall. Okay, and what's T? Trelawney? Okay, CC, ML. I feel like we should go help. Oh no, I can't do that one. This? Mm, mm hmm. Arthur's gonna go to a funeral wearing cat ears? No. Ar I feel like Arthur, like. I don't know. He he could have been so much more impactful at that party if he just stuck to who he really was and that hat continued to stick to our head. That's it. Of course, Dutch is on the left past the faceless. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm going to catch up a little. And then that's the one message that I was like, okay. Um, I think I'm going to stop here. Cause I, I want to do, I want to hit some of the side quests, but then while I'm in St. Denis, then I want to do some of obviously the main stuff. So, all right, we were at 48%. I think we're going to be at 50 one percent. Okay, 49.6. That makes sense. How, how do you make progress in this game? How? You, I, I just did like, I don't even know. 